All right, and so I'm not really showing you guys, guys. I just want you to know that when I first came to Benson in January, a lot of people were telling me they don't believe that we have homeless people on the streets living in the woods. And I'm like, yeah, I know you got your shelters. I know that uh, we got some housing, but I also know there's a waiting list. A lot of you guys are waiting on a list. How many of you are waiting on a list right now? Yeah, right? And praise God that there is a list. But what I was concerned about was um, how long is it going to take before housing becomes available? And so, here's the deal. By the end of today, I want to give you all permission. And this is really, really important. I am willing to meet with each and every one of you every week for the reason of coaching, counseling, whatever it takes to get you hooked up to the services that's going to get you out of the situation you're in. You might say, what makes me qualified? I've been doing this since 1991 going to homeless camps. I started off in Arizona with five acres of homeless camps and people that got together with me. I told them, how many of you would do what I say if I could get you off the street in six months or less? Guess what? It happened. Those that worked with me, we got you off the streets. We're going to do the same thing here. I did it in Orlando, Florida. A lot of the homeless camps don't exist today because God put fire in my heart to care for you guys. Because you know what? Sometimes if you're new to being on the streets, you don't even know what the, where the agencies are. You don't even know what exists out there. I think we can do more than just feed. How many of you agree we need more than just food? I, I get a lot of homeless people telling me we need jobs exclusive for the homeless. Wow, I like that idea. And guess what? I got some jobs. I got some employers right here in Muncie willing to put you to work. But you got to do right. You got to be responsible. You got to show up. Just like any job. You got to show up. If somebody gives you a chance, willing to put some money in your pocket, guess what? We're going to need your help. Now, my wife just pulled up. I'm going to ask her to come up here in a little bit. But we're, we're getting some gifts because when I told you we're bringing some stuff, I wasn't kidding. But every one of you, wow. First of all, thank you. Thank you for coming to this very, very special event for you guys. And look at that, man, look at that. You know what, let me, let me, let me see if I can get some of this. The people are, are not aware that, you know, this is for real. We want to bless you guys with gifts. And I, I have some wonderful people here from another church. And I won't even mention their name because I was, I, you know, I got to mention Debbie. I got to mention her husband because they helped prepare all the food you're about to eat. And yes, there's a buffet here. And yes, I'm letting you see my back for a minute because we're showing the people that are on Facebook Live that, you know what, they could have been out here helping. Some of you guys could have been out here helping with Christmas for the homeless. And it's not to put anyone to shame, it's to say it really really does exist all right so i want to get ready for uh, my wife to come up here and she's gonna pray us and we're gonna start eating and while we're eating i'm gonna be playing some songs for you guys and then i'm gonna give you a message because the message is really important that you're gonna be able to relate to don't worry, I'm not your ordinary preacher. Hey, no, 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 I got a message of hope. You know, there's a reason why I hit the streets. There's a reason why we're doing what we're doing. Because there's a lot of people say, man, man I, I, I'm just not into that church thing. Hey, been there. I'm not into the church thing either. But I'm into relationships. I'm in, I, I do know God is real. He's a spirit. They that worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. And so... Trust me when I say I know that we all got a story. We all got a testimony. We all got a journey, you know. Uh, and in Florida, guess what? When I talk to people in Florida and I told them, you know what? A lot of you guys came to Florida because you wanted to go to Disneyland. Yeah. Disneyland. 
And how many of you know, if you're going to take a trip, you probably got a checklist? Yeah. Now, how many of you can relate to planning a trip? You ever have a trip in life? You wanted to go somewhere and something happened. Something happened you didn't plan for. I mean, I know one thing. I'm going to say this and we're going to pray. When I am on a trip, the one thing I am not thinking about. <laughs> I'm so excited about a flat tire. Woo! Oh, what? Flat tires don't exist? Yeah. But it's not on your things to do list, is it? Okay. Devil is alive. What am I doing? There we go. <laughs> Devil is a liar. So we didn't plan to get on a flat tire. We're going to pause right there. We're going to take a moment. I'm going to have my wife come up and pray. And we're going to eat. You don't need this? I'll tell you what. Let me come over here. You come over here. Because we're doing a Facebook Live at the same time. Yeah. And uh, we're letting people know that we care about the homeless. We care about people in the community. Ah. All right, sweetheart, go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just ask, Father God, that you will bless us while we're out here, Father God, that you will touch hearts, mend, and Father God, that you will deliver and set free. Whatever the need is, God, you know what it is, God. So we ask, Father God, that you will speak and that the love of the Lord will be shared from heart to heart from each one, Father God. And we thank you so much for you first loved us, God. And you called us, Father God, out of the darkness into this marvelous light. So we ask, Father God, that you just touch the lives of many and that they will feel your love and they will understand that we are out here to touch them like you touched us. And you found us in the middle of our hardship. You found us in the middle of our mess. And while we was in our mess, God, you loved us and gave yourself for us. So we thank you for the protection. We ask that you will bless everything that's done, every prayer, every person here, every all food and everything, and every volunteer. We thank you so much, God. And we ask for your divine protection in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. So those of you that can, uh, I, I'm sorry, the path might be a little tricky, but we're going to get you started over there. Uh, let the ladies come first, guys, all right? All right, let the ladies come first, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you made it. God bless you. <laughs> come on, ladies. Come on down. That's right. That's right. Now, we appreciate you all. Oh, yeah. We appreciate you all. God bless you all. Man, what are, what are we serving today, guys? Wow. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, stuffing. Turkey. Turkey. Corn pudding. Corn pudding. My, my, my. It's looking good. Looking good, looking good. Man, I just want to make sure I get some of that food. Yeah. You guys hungry? Yeah. And it's home cooked. This ain't no store-bought stuff. <laughs> where, where's, where? Oh, George. Hey, what's going on, George? Man, <laughs> my buddy George is here. How you doing, man? Doing good? Oh, that's good. I, I love you, bro. Love to see you out here outside of that tent. It's a good day to be out of the tents, right? All right, all right. Everybody doing good? All right. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know what? Christmas for the homeless slash thanksgiving yeah yeah and we're gonna grub guys we're gonna grub and while they're grubbing we're gonna transition sweetheart can i give you this all right you know what to do it's already live all you have to do is walk around and do some things and we got a train hey when we tell you we're by the train tracks we lift it <laughs> for real Woo! for real for real I love you, Lord. Your mercy never fails me. All my days. You know what? I need to wait.
wait for that train to go by. Right? Nope, can't do that one. All right, we can't do Johnny Cash. Sorry, guys. All right, no Johnny Cash today, but the train is coming and going. And we don't know how long it's going to be, but... It is, it really is. Woo! All right, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Are we getting with the train? Yeah. It's good. Oh, you're in some trouble. I love you, Lord. Okay, you got it. All right, God bless you. Yeah, you know, you I tell it. people we are at a season where a lot of us are thinking about the holidays, and some of us are thinking about heaven, believe it or not. I don't know about you, but there are some people that they're thinking about loved ones that they're missing already. And see, one of the reasons why this event is so important, we want to encourage you to hang on, hang in there. We know what it is hey, Red. to feel a little down. We know what it is to feel like, you know what? This holiday's kind of hard on me. I got some loved ones that ain't here this year. There's a very famous song. You won't recognize it as soon as I hear it, play it. But there's somebody who is in heaven. And the good thing about heaven is there's no more tears. If I saw you in heaven, would you feel the same? 
right matter of fact uh, uh, I'm really trying to promote love in case you haven't noticed for us to love one another accept one another and, and you know it's easy to say it but it's not easy to live it God put this phrase on my heart we need to have one love one heart we need to be one church one bride. We need to be one in God. Here's an original song that I'm putting together. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to be one. We need to be one.
So uh, you, you can tell by that song, I'm serious about, you know what, we got to stop the fuss. We got to stop the fighting. You know, and, it's, and it, we're in the day and age that, what? We just fight over anything. Ain't that a bunch of nonsense? Fighting over a piece of bread. Yeah. Some of you might be fighting over the, who's going to put their tent where? Now, come on. We got to grow up. We got to toughen up. Because let me tell you, it's time to get up. I'm telling you, there is a message for you today, and that is this. We're all a work in progress. We are all not done yet. I mean, thank God we're above the ground. Thank God that I have shoes in my feet. Thank God all of you got something to eat. Ooh, yeah, that's a blessing right there. A hot meal? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, we didn't put the cold cake sandwiches. And no, no, we didn't do sandwiches today, yeah. We got some hot food going on, but the main thing I want you to know is think about where you are today. Where do you want to be down the road? Uh-huh, and you know where I'm going <laughs> because some of us, we've been down for a moment. Remember that message about the vacation? Let's go back to that real quick. Let's think about that message. We did plan for a flat tire. Now, how many of you know you ain't going too far with a flat tire? Why is Pastor Joseph talking about a flat tire? Because until it's fixed, the journey stops. Until you deal with the flat tire, you ain't going too far. Oh, I can push it. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I know you'll do it for a while because you know what? We, we could be hard-headed like that, huh? We could be hard-headed like that. We'll push. We'll shove. We'll, we'll fight. Now, there's others. You know what they do when they get a flat tire? Yeah. How many of you know what I'm about to say? What are some of the things we do when we see a flat tire and we don't fix it? We stare at it. We stare at it. Now, come on now. We're on a journey to Disneyland. If we're on a journey for Disneyland, we got to get that tire fixed. I want to go on vacation, guys. I want to live life. I don't want to be stuck in the rut. And so, but but something happens in life that you didn't plan and you feel stuck. It's like, man, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know how to do this. And that's understandable. Not everybody knows how to fix a flat tire. So what are we going to do about it? We're going to get some help. Yeah, we got to work on it. And what I'm getting at, folks, is everything that life throws at us, yeah, it don't feel good, but we got to get back in the game. We got to get the tools. Maybe it takes a, a somebody who's got a socket wrench, a lug wrench. Maybe you got to go borrow something from somebody. Yeah. And, and you got to face the fact that if you just stare at the flat tire, you're going to... Your journey is going to continue to be at a standstill. What am I getting at? Get to the point, Pastor. All right, the point is this. I want you back in the race. I want you back up on your feet. I don't want you out in the woods. Come on, it's going to get ready to get a little nasty out here, right? So here's, here's the thing. We got to fight for our life. We got to fight to get back up. We have to. And there's no one that's going to care more about your life than you yourself. That's right. And I got news for you. Doing it myself don't always work out. Doing it my way don't always work out. God told me I'm a work in progress. Woo! How about you? Are you a work in progress? Maybe God ain't finished with you? Guess what? You're probably wondering, what do I know about homelessness? What do I know about being on the streets? Guess what? I'm going to sing you a song. It's going to tell you my story right now. And some of you are going to be able to help me out. Because you know what? The chorus, you all know the chorus. But I'm going to give you the words. How many of you can help me sing this? Can't you see? Can't you see? <laughs> ah, but we're going to change the words. We're going to change the words. Yeah, she got it on the nail. That was a Marshall Tucker song. But we're going to do this, folks. <laughs> Can't you see? Can't you see? God 
It's not finished with me. Oh, I switched it on you. Yes, I did. Can you help me out with that? How many of you can sing? Can't you see? Can't you see? God is not finished with me. Can't you see? Yeah, come on. Come on, help me out. One, two, three. Can't you see? Can't you see? God is not finished with me. Can't you see? Can't you see? God, it's not finished with me. Yeah, you got it. You're getting it. I remember not long ago when I was living without a home. I was on the street, not much to eat, not much hope in my soul. that you got here all over town yeah I'm trying to gain some ground but nobody would lend a hand I was doing my part trying to gain a brand new start but no one would help this man oh but a hunger inside no I wanted to die I had to quit all the drugs quit all the dope
the stuff that's bringing us down. Uh-huh, you know what I'm talking about. Some of us, you know, you've been tore up from the floor up. But anyway, let me give you a phone number real quick. 765, all right, 365-7787. That's Pastor Romero's phone number. You can text me. It will get a hold of me. If I don't get in touch with Muncie Hub, I am in touch with the mission. I am in touch with the YWCA. I am in touch with the Beta Way. I am in touch with all the local Better agencies yes. <laughs> that have all the different types of helps that most people will need. But some and of you saying, Pastor Romero, I am not interested in the shelter. I'm going to do it on my own. I, I'm uh, able to work. Good. How's that job application going? How many of you filling out applications every week? Yeah. Now, don't even try. Don't even try. I know some of you are not ready there. You're not there yet, right? There's some stuff going on. So I want to talk to you about something that's called Christmas. A gift, if you will. Matter of fact, did we bring some gifts today? Oh, my Lord, I see some gifts. I have a very special gift I want to talk to you about. It's a gift that, you know what, if you accept this book, and that's a trick, see? Let me get one of these real quick. I want to show you guys something. Yeah, give me a little uh, dark. There it is. Uh, there is some gifts that we have here because we want to bless you guys, right? No, where's my sweetheart at? Okay. I'm right here. All right, now, those of you who are watching, there's a gift here, right? There's a gift here. What has to happen for this gift to get out of my hands into your hands? What has to happen? It has to be taken. It has to be taken. Whoever said that got it right. It has to be taken. I could have this gift here all day long, but unless you accept the gift, it won't do any good. It's still in my hands. And there's a gift that God gave over 2,000 years ago. She'll take it. She'll take it, She'll right, take right, it. right? Amen, amen. You just might be the one getting it. Who knows? But these gifts that I'm talking about are eternal. I'm talking about a gift that keeps on giving. Because if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior... You will have everlasting life. And you say, man, I want nothing to do with all that. Yet, man, you better think twice. Some of you know you need some help. And some of you, you may not be that bad, but you got caught up in some mess. And we got to be real. You know what I tell God? God, I ain't perfect. And if you think you are, hey, let's go to the lake. Let's see who can walk on water. Yeah. I, I, oh, you can walk on water. All right, we're going to see how. Yeah, we're going to see how far we get. <laughs> All right, we're going to see how far we get. Some of you think you can walk on water. Let me tell you, I can't. Because you know what? Life happens and things mess me up, tear me up. I know what it is to be tore up from the floor up. I know I need some help. And I have to say, God, change my heart. Touch me as only you can. And so when he offered up a gift of salvation, he said, look, I just want to love you. I'm going to accept you just the way you are. But if you spend time with me, change will come. God is the one that changes our heart. God is the one that's able to lift you up. God is the one that can make a way where there seems to be no way. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Maybe Amen. some of you have been in church. Amen. Maybe you have bad experience. Uh, I've heard that story too. We got to forgive. We got to move on. Because you know what? who has the power? The person we're not forgiven. Woo, they're stealing my joy. I don't know about you, but I want my joy back. I want to be happy. I want to have hope. And so I have to ask God every day, help me. Because I'm a man. I'm in this flesh body. I, I got problems. How many of you got problems? You need some help? Yeah, I see the hands going up. You got problems. You got problems, Slim? Oh, you, 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 oh you're good. Oh, oh, yeah. He good. That's right. He walked on water. We're going we're gonna to go meet up later. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, how many of you would at least allow the gift of salvation to come to you? How many of you would be willing to say, you know what? I need all the help I can get. I want Jesus in my life. How many of you would consider that today? Anybody? Okay, I see a hand. I see a hand. 
Is that a hand or are you just waving? <laughs> Scott's over there. I, I got a fire going already. Well, we need a fire in our heart. We need a fire in our heart. God will help you guys. I hope some of you will come up for prayer and we will pray for you. A prayer of salvation for you to have your sins forgiven. Is there anybody who wants to do that right now? Or we get too far. Anybody want to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior? Don't be shy. We're not putting it on camera either. I'm taking it off. But I'm here to